Hey, I'm Rina Sawayama. I'm in the amazing Abbey Road studios for Brits Rising Star. And when the heart wants what it wants, what can I do? It's a really especially big deal for me to be shortlisted for Rising Star because um, I, oh, I'm getting emotional, but um, I, I actually wouldn't have been eligible um, this time last year. So um, it's a really big deal, sorry. <laughs> Telling my mom was amazing. She was so proud. I'm just super, super grateful. So I take that one, that one, yeah, that one too. One fact that someone discovering my music should know about me is that I'm not going to stay in any genre. The music I write is pop writing, I would say. I love mixing influences from new metal to Pussycat Dolls to crazy different genre mixing. So yeah, that's. I guess that's me in a nutshell. I released my record last year and for a typical album cycle, they call it, you would have toured right after, but I, I couldn't do that. And I mean, I've actually got the live set already because I've just been so excited to do it. So me and the um, my musical director have been working on it for about a year. But on top of that, it's also creating a new show, whether it's through fashion, or whether it's through crowd interaction, or just something, just keeping it fresh every time, I think is what I'm excited about. For anyone seeing me live, I would say that the message I want them to take away is community. Last year before I released the record and my fan base was a bit smaller, it was definitely a lot of unity. And now there's so many different people listening to my music and I just hope that my gigs can really truly be a safe space for, you know, different people from different backgrounds and um, that everyone comes back from there and they feel, and I hate to use this word, but empowered and feeling like they can, you know, you know, ready to take on the world and yeah, and also cry as well. So <laughs> everything. One piece of advice I wish I was given, or maybe I was given, but I didn't listen to, <laughs> was don't compare yourself to other people. I was uploading some songs on SoundCloud when I was starting out, maybe in 2013, 2012, and I remember looking at so many different accounts and being like, oh, I don't sound like this, I want to sound like this and this and this. And I think for me, when it all clicked was when I looked through my own musical history and what I used to love listening to when I was a kid. Um, and molding that into like my story was sort of what made my music make sense to me. So I would 100% say, don't compare yourself. Hey,